Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotits.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to customize your Facebook fan page. Today we're going to be doing the easy way. We're going to be using a third party website, Wix.com, to actually make all the contents that we want to go on our Facebook page. And then we're just going to use their Facebook app to put it in there. Now in a later tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to do this the hard way using Facebook markup language. So look forward to that. But until then, let's get this done. Over here, I have the Facebook fan page for my clothing line open, facebook.com slash average kings. And you'll notice right under the photos on the left side, I have this thing called shop. If we click on shop, we have this whole website that's going to load up with the different shirts and you could actually buy them right here. Now over here on the top of this, we have the admin section. So it says the page settings and the questions and all that type of stuff. But down here is what people will actually be seeing. So we have the crown, the average king's crown. We have the different shirts, uh, store, about, my cart, and everything like that. So that is just an idea of what you guys could do using this. Now if we continue scrolling down, you'll see all the likes that this page has, and you can actually add a comment from your own Facebook page. Now with that being said, all you need to do to actually add this is in the search bar for Facebook, type in Wix your page, and just click on that app. And once that's loaded, it's going to look a little bit different for you guys because I already have it downloaded. But you pretty much just want to find the install Wix app button and click that button. And then it'll say add this application to and you choose a page. What I'm going to do is add it to the Octo sites for now. And then just click add Wix to your page. Now we're on the Octo sites page. So what we're going to do now is click edit info. Go to apps. And if we look through all the apps, we actually see Wix your page added. And what we could do is click on edit settings and type out a name for this. So let's say for the Octo sites, I want my videos to show on my Facebook page. So I'm just going to type in videos, save and OK. Now we're going to go back and view my page. So now I have this videos tab. It has nothing there to actually add the page. What we need to do is click on page settings. And the most important part is right here, we need to add the link to the page. But to add the link to the page, what we need to do first is to make the page. So let's head over to Wix.com. That's W-I-X.com. The link will be in the video description below. Once Wix is loaded, you want to make an account. I'm already signed in here. And we're going to press Create. The page is loaded. On the categories on the left-hand side, we want to find Facebook pages and click on that. And then now we could choose any of these templates make our page and edit everything to our liking. And right here, I'm using this page or I was using uh, this template for the Average Kings page, the clothing store Facebook page. Now let's see for the Octosites page, what I want is a page uh, that can handle videos or that actually looks a little bit similar to the Octosites. So I could just keep scrolling. But even if I don't find a page that looks all that similar, pretty much everything on these pages is editable. So I could change everything and make it look like my page. So right here, this actually looks like a pretty cool template, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to hover over it and click edit. And then a new window is going to open up, wait for Wix to load. And now we could edit everything to our liking. So right here it says your name. Just click on it and click edit. And we could type in octotoots.com. We could also change the font, the font size, the color, everything up here. Um, home, portfolio, bio, and contact. Um, I could head over to the home and actually just edit um, all this text and type in anything about Octotits. Uh, welcome to the Facebook page. Click like and watch my free HD video tutorials. We could even change this background picture. As I said, we could pretty much change everything, but I'm not going to sit here and edit everything right now. All I'm going to do right now is show you guys how to put it on the page. So we're going to click publish, wait for it to load, and it's going to say name your Wix. I'm going to name it Octotoots. And then right here is a site address. That's what we want to keep in mind. I'll just press OK to that. And that's done. Now we could click, click publish to my Facebook page. And then it's going to open up. Now a new window is going to open up and it's going to say thank you for creating a new Wix page. It's going to preview the Wix page that we made. So that looks pretty good. 
And then since we already installed this Wix app, we're going to go up here and visit the page. Click on that videos tab. Wait for that to load and then click on page settings. Now, since I already had a page there, um, you wouldn't need to delete the page in the first place. But as you can see, now we have Wix.com slash HighHillard slash Octotoots there. So that's the link for the new Wix page. We could customize the page by removing the Facebook comments from this page and removing the social buttons from this page, but I would recommend to leave that. And you could also add a thing so people have to like your page before they see um, this tab of the page. So I'm going to click on that and just press OK. And wait for that to load. And we're done. So now it says, here's what they'll see. We have the social buttons. And then down here, this is the page that we created, along with the likes for this page and the comments. So if we scroll up, we could edit more settings. Uh, but that's pretty much it for today. We are now done with editing this Facebook page. So I hope you guys learned something new today. This is the easy way on how to edit your Facebook fan page. Look forward to more tutorials in the future on how to actually edit the page by hand and add music and all that other type of stuff. But that's pretty much it for today. I'll see you guys soon.